about 2,000 Azovstal defenders still in Russian captivity. Over the year, Ukraine has managed to return about 500 Azovstal defenders home, while about 2,000 more are in Russian captivity. Natalka Zaritska, head of the NGO Council of Wives and Mothers, Women of Steel, said this at a briefing dedicated to the one-year anniversary of the withdrawal from Azovstal steelworks. Despite all efforts, only 20% of the defenders who stood to the death until they received an order from the command to lay down their arms and save their lives were able to return over the past 12 months. Only the defenders of Azovstal received such an order during the war. According to information from open sources, fulfilling the order, about 2,500 defenders left the territory of the plant. Over the year, about 500 defenders were returned. This means that about 2,000 boys and girls are still in the hell of captivity, and together with them, their relatives and friends have been in the hell of uncertainty for the whole year. Zaritska said she stressed that the service members are tortured and starved in captivity. Last September, there was a big exchange of Azovstal defenders. Service members who had been in captivity for four months returned. Everyone is aware of the condition in which they returned. They lost 40 kilograms of weight on average, got their kidneys lowered, spines broken, knees injured, muscles broken, sight, hearing, teeth lost, psychological trauma acquired, Zaritska said. According to her, on May the 6th this year, 45 more Azov-style defenders were brought back and their people, who were healthy and strong a year ago, now lost their health forever.